Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna tell you step by step procedure for applying GIC for Canada in CIBC Bank. Also, I wanna tell you that I have already made one video on Scotia Bank. So if you want to apply GIC for Canada in Scotia Bank, then you can watch my other video. I will provide the link in the description box. This video is specifically if you want to apply GIC in CIBC Bank. So now let's go to the computer screen. I will tell you there the step by step procedure for applying. So I have gathered this information for you. As you can see for applying study permit through SDS scheme, you must fulfill following conditions. Have an acceptance letter from a designated learning institution. Have paid your tuition fees for first year. Living outside Canada in countries such as India, Vietnam, China, etc. Have a GIC certificate of 10,000 Canadian dollars. Have completed medical examination. Have IELTS report. Now GIC providers, most famous ones, although there are more than four GIC providers, that is banks, but these four are the best banks according to me. The first one is Scotia Bank. Second is CIBC Bank. Third is ICIC Bank, Canada branch. SBI Bank, Canada branch. Now this, uh, this uh, list is not according to its ranking. I have simply put the bank's name in this order, but you can choose any of these four. Now let's talk about CIBC Bank. Now, if you want, if you will be applying for GIC, then your processing time is gonna be three to five days. Now, the best thing about CIBC Bank is there is no processing fees, and total fund required is ten thousand Canadian dollars. And this is the website uh, that you can go and uh, apply for your GIC in CIBC Bank. And one more thing that is uh, good about this CIBC Bank is there is a bonus, which is 25 Canadian dollars referral bonus. That is, if you if somebody has referred you and you you are applying uh, in CIBC Bank, then you can simply put his email address when you will apply for CIBC and after when you come to Canada and finish all your formalities in the bank then you both are gonna get 25 Canadian dollars as a referral bonus now once you come to the website you will see a page like this one as you can see there are three steps so this is the first step and before proceeding further let me show you one thing as you can see here uh, make sure to have your passport ready, your letter of admission, which is also your letter of acceptance in PDF format. The name of the campus you will be attending. You will be able to track the status of your application by logging on to our online platform. So now let's uh, begin the application. So this is the first step. Now you just make sure that you have this uh, student GIC program clicked. And then uh, this $10,000 is your GIC amount. Let me enter the name of the country from which I am paying India now when you will enter India you will see payment options this one as you can see 10,000 Canadian dollars I have to pay for GIC in CIBC Bank Canada now equivalent of this 10,000 dollars that this bank is charging from me is 6,17,894.22 Indian rupees so now you have two options either you can do the payment in indian rupees or the local currency which is indian rupees here or you can do the payment in canadian dollars by clicking this checkbox here the reason i am saying this point here is because when you pay the amount in local currency or in indian rupees here then you basically have to pay a little bit more amount while if you pay the amount in canadian dollars by uh, clicking the checkbox here you are basically paying little bit less amount than the one shown here and i will show you the live example of this same amount here at the end of this video so for now let me click to this um, this select button here and this live example i'll show you at the end of the video so now when i have clicked this button here on the right hand side you can see the payment information summary GIC amount is 10,000 Canadian dollars payment country is India payment type bank wire selected currency as you can see here is Indian rupees okay and program fee that is processing fee is zero Canadian dollars so now let's go to the next step by clicking this student information button here
Now we are on the next step that is step 2 of 3. Here you need to enter the student details. Let me enter the um, sample details here. Okay, name this I just entered now. Actually, I went back and now I'm entering. Okay, so Peter Parker name and first name home country optional optional school name. Okay, you can enter any school name. Um, okay. University of Toronto University of Windsor. Okay, let me enter this university and program of study engineering okay and student id you need to enter the student id which is mentioned in the letter of acceptance same number okay don't forget then tentative arrival date any uh 2021 Sep august september 1st i will enter okay september 1st tentative graduation date is two year after your from today um august 31st okay and what is the intended use of this amount education don't change this one let it be as it is your occupation category then this one let it be at as it is student your occupation description student and then is this account to benefit a third party no so for admission letter you will select the file from your system your acceptance letter now i've selected the acceptance letter in student contact details you need to enter the same uh, address and details which is mentioned in your passport so street number i'm entering something street name india per passport okay permanent city anything postal code okay phone number okay now here in registered email address you will uh, basically mention your email address uh, try to use the same one which you used while applying for the university admission if i'm entering just peter at gmail.com password anything okay then here you will enter the passport details passport issue date any this please enter according to your own details i'm simply entering and showing you guys here as a sample india date of birth okay then in the referral details you will basically um enter the email address of the person whom who has referred you so if you want to enter you can enter if you want to leave this one you can simply leave or you can simply say how did you hear about us other details something are you applying through the referral program if you are not uh if you have come to this uh, website without any referral then you can simply check this no button here now here in this uh, part this part is basically very important part remitting bank so you will select your bank and just make sure that you are basically selecting your own bank that is the student who is coming to canada for studies he has to open like he has to enter his own account because gic if you pay gic from your parents account or from someone else's account then they will basically reject your gic certificate and, and you will basically not get your you know you will not get your gic certificate so just try to make sure that it is the student's account or if you have a joint account with your parents then it is fine but according to me you just make sure that it is your own account you know student account so i'm just um entering sdfc bank limited account number your account number and your pen number if you are from india then you have this number now here in the declaration form uh, since i entered this name peter parker you will check this box and leave this as it is then you will check this box here these are the guidelines from uh, fema you know indian rules you will check this box you will check this box and now you will uh, see the payment summary 
password and confirm password not there. okay so sim i have since i have uh, entered all the details you know as a sample so you will you can see the um, summary on the right hand side so before clicking that um, submit button make sure that all the details that you have entered is correct then in the end you just have to click this button here payment summary and then finally you have to submit that you have to click that button submit and that's it okay so now let me show you that how much more money you will pay if you do the payment in uh, indian rupees or the local currency or how much money you will pay less if you pay the uh, payment in canadian dollars so right now if you pay in indian rupees you will have to pay uh, 6,17,894.22 indian rupees and i beg your pardon for the background noise which is coming from my pet um, he's a cat and he just woke up so i'm really sorry about that sound okay so now let's come back to this one uh, so when i click this uh, check button here you can see that uh, now the amount has increased uh, and it has changed to canadian dollars that is now you have to pay 10150 canadian dollars and 150 here is extra because they are charging the program fee 150 canadian dollars and on the right hand side on the, in the summary section you can see uh, now the selected currency has changed from indian rupees to canadian dollars it is now 10150 canadian dollars and program fee that is processing fee that they are charging is 150 canadian dollars so uh, today's rate is basically one canadian dollars is 59.3 indian rupees so if you pay this amount in canadian dollars that is 10150 so let me show you that 10150 multiply by 59.3 it comes equal to 6,1895 Indian rupees. Okay, so you are paying basically 6,1000, 6, 6 lakh approximately. But when you pay this amount in Indian rupees, how much you will have to pay? Just uncheck this box again and select the currency Indian rupees and see now you can see this amount 6,18658 6 rupees while if you pay in canadian dollars that is if now i uh, if if i check this box again and this 10150 comes up and see when you multiply by today's exchange rate then it comes down to 6,1895 so you are basically paying 18000 approximately 18000 indian rupees more than the amount you know the actual amount that you can uh, basically save by paying in canadian dollars so i advise all the students who are paying for gic through cibc bank i recommend everyone to pay the amount in canadian dollars because you will simply uh, save um, you know some kind of amount you know like in indian rupees it is 18000 in your currency it may be something else but you are definitely saving some amount if you pay uh, the payment in canadian dollars so that's it and if you like the video please subscribe this channel and uh, thanks for watching it